The state-of-the-art home has been built to withstand extreme weather, tested with temperatures ranging from minus 20 degrees Celsius to more than 40 degrees. The Energy House project comes at a time when both cost of living and climate change are affecting people's lives. Welcome to the home of the future. Built to test the most extreme weather events. What we're trying to do is to control the weather and so we can take it down to minus 20 and up to plus 40 and create all the other weather conditions, including snow. It's a home like no other, designed by scientists from the University of Salford in the UK. The reason we've designed it is to really understand how houses are going to perform, not just now, but in future climates. The outcome will influence how buildings are constructed to be more durable and resilient as weather conditions become more extreme. We, we've built this chamber to represent 95% of the global populated landmass. Anywhere more or less where people live, so not the North Pole and South Pole, we can recreate those climatic conditions. We can take this house from Manchester to the south of France or Spain within a day. The buildings are not only stress tested, but trialled for thermal comfort and how expensive they are to run. What happens when we push a lot of wind driven rain onto them? What happens when we push a lot of solar radiation? How do these buildings deal with that? But more importantly, when we put people inside them, how do they deal with it as well? With the smart house also able to respond to the climatic conditions thrown at it. So what the house is able to do is basically drop the curtains when it's too warm so it delivers uh, shading for overheating and it can actually then push in the ventilation which is up in the ceilings. It sounds like something from the Jetsons, but it could soon be a reality.